Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this tutorial on this eye look on the new Kylie Bye Bell palette. I know I'm a little bit late on it. My Ulta finally got it in stores, so I finally picked it up. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw that I picked this palette up. And I was super excited because I love Carly and I love her four cats. They are so freaking cute and I just wanted to do a look using this new palette. Don't mind my hair. My hair is completely washed out and I swear it looks orange so I could not have it down and it is up because I need to dye my hair tomorrow. It is very bad and my birthday is coming up and I need to dye it. I can't have a birthday with orange hair. I love this palette. I wasn't going to swatch anything because everything is just super pigmented as you know. And I bet you there's tons of videos since I'm super late to this showing how pigmented swatches everything. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this look and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see how I got this eye look then please keep watching. First of all I'm going to set my eyelid of course and it is set with just some translucent powder that I put underneath my eyes but I'm gonna set it again with this shade right here and I bring it all over the lid just to make sure I get everything and a new trick that I've been enjoying and I find it easier for me to blend is highlight my brow bone first I don't know if any of you guys try it out I just find it easier so it doesn't look like a stark white like right there and then you have to blend it out later and then bring your transition shade this is just much easier when you get it down first I'm gonna use actually this highlighting shade right here and mix it in with this peachy color and I'm just going to highlight that brow bone like I only got a little bit and it's already bright and I bring it down a little bit so then I can blend it out Next I'm going to get is a transition shade and I think I'm going to go in with this mauve tone right here. It's a really pretty color. If you're wondering what brushes I'm using, they are the brushes on my favorite brushes video that I made. I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out, but they're literally the same. So I'm going to take this and blend it all over the lid and bring this in this eye socket area. So then this will blend out that highlighting shade right there just so it looks seamlessly and then you don't have to put that stark white after. So I'm going to continue to blend this all over until I get it smoked out as much as I want it to. This is a really pretty shade. I knew this formula was going to be the same as the other palette because the other palette is just so good and what I really like about this palette is the colors, the brighter colors that the other one doesn't have. The other one is more neutral. So I'm going to get an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to get this berry color right here. It's kind of a deeper purple. And a purple pink on my outer corner comes out purple and then I'm going to put it on my inner corner as well get it right in there so once I get that I'm going to go back with my blending brush and blend that out remember always blending is key I'm not adding any more pigment to this brush it's just whatever it was on it just so I can blend those two colors together then I'm gonna go back in and get this brown shade right here and I'm also going to pack that on to where I just applied that like plum color so this tones it down a bit and makes it a little bit more neutral and then I'm going to also whatever is on the brush I'm going to connect the two sides together and I like to put it above my lid because I have a small lid space and I make this bigger so it gives it an illusion that I have a bigger eyelid and again, back in with that blending brush, blending all that together, making sure it's seamless. It looks darker in person than on my camera. I don't know why. Then I'm going to get some spray, and I'm just using my Milani spray to wet my brush. And then I'm going to go in with that color that I said I was going to use, this like beautiful, beautiful pink with a sh like sheen of gold. It's just so pretty. And I wet it just so I can have extra pigment, you know? These shadows are really pigmented. So I'm just tapping that onto my lid, going above the lid to give it that illusion. And then I'm going to go in with just my finger, tap on a little bit more. I really want that to pop. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I have fallen in love with this shade. Then I'm going to go with the same brush that I used to get that plum shade and just to blend out those edges. So it doesn't look too harsh. Then I'm going to get my favorite eye pencil brush to 
smoke out my lower lash line and I'm going to mix these two colors that I did on my outer and inner corner. Smoke that on my lower lash line. I think I'm going to do this look for my birthday. My birthday's coming up. It's on Friday. I'm super excited. Don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm doing something. Then I'm going to get that same really pretty pink shade and I'm going to get this shade right here, mix it in. And I'm going to put this as my inner corner highlight. I like to drag it down at the bottom of my lower lash line. Since I never do eyeliner, I think I'm going to do eyeliner today. And I'm using my Tarte Clay Paint Liner. So I can't talk while I'm doing my liner because I feel like I'm just going to mess up. But I'm going to do a wing because I haven't done a wing in a long time. So I'm just going to fast forward through this part, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Now I'm going to put on some mascara, and this is my favorite at the moment. It's the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. And just a little bit, and then I'm going to put on falsies, and these are my favorite, the Be Wispies. So I'm going to put my lashes on and finish this eye, and then I'll be back. I know I look crazy right now with one eye done. So all I did is put some mascara underneath and finish my other eye. Now I'm going to go in back to the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to use one of the highlighters. And I think I'm going to use this one right here. Since I am a little bit tan, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, look at that. Come on. It's just like a gold champagne color. Champagne is my favorite. Like... Um, I think I look like a light bulb. Just a bit, guys. I have always loved the highlighters in this palette. Um, well not this one, but the one before this. I just, uh, they're so pigmented always. Now, for lips, I'm going to put on this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and this is in the color Loyalist. I just bought this, and I love it. I love the formula. This one, I do notice that I have to put like two two layers of, but it doesn't make my lips like super thick or anything. It's just because it's a really light color. It's a bit sheer, but it is buildable, which I don't mind because it doesn't make my lips feel like gross or like too much product is on my lips. I literally went out and bought this one after Luster Lux, Katie, um, snapped about it that this is the color she was wearing. I went and go buy it because I loved it. On her it looks so pretty I love the Carly Bible palette BH and her always make good stuff like this one is just as good as the first one and everything is just so pretty pigmented I love it love it love it love it I'm so glad I picked it up because I was on the fence of picking it up and I'm glad I did if you guys want to see more looks on this palette then give this video a thumbs up and that is it for the video don't forget to subscribe down below and follow me on my social medias Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.